In this video, we're going to talk about a new feature in Guitar Pro 6. We're going to talk about automations. Automations replace the mixing board found previously in Guitar Pro 5. Automations will help you create a dynamic mix by entering very precise values when you're mixing your project. Let's take a look at this project. This project is made of four tracks, a rhythm guitar track, a lead guitar track, a bass track, and drums. These tracks are accessible directly in the global view, which is underneath your score. If you can't see the global view, you can activate it in the view menu. On the right side of each track, you'll find several elements you can configure, such as the volume, the pan, and the EQ. The EQ settings can be activated or deactivated. You can change these settings directly which is going to give you a global mix right away. However, these effects will not be able to be changed as the song is playing. In order to do this, we're going to have to use automations. Three types of automations are found in Guitar Pro 6. Tempo automations, volume automations, global and per track, and pan automations, global and per track. Let's enter a volume automation on the lead guitar track. To do this, I'm going to click on the volume automation per track. This will open the automation window on which I'll be able to see at a glance all the tracks of my project, as well as the main track, which includes all the tracks of your score. Let's take a look at the lead guitar track. I'm going to add a new automation on the fourth bar of this track. I'm simply going to click on the fourth bar and now I'll enter the new value for the volume. Let's enter a volume of 50%. Now our track is going to start being played at the volume the score was set to and on the fourth bar of the lead guitar track will drop in volume to 50% of the original value. Let's enter a new volume automation on the sixth bar. But before I click on the sixth bar, I'm going to deselect the constant value option. Once this is done, I'll click on the sixth bar, enter the new volume value, which in this case will set to 100. And as you can see, now the volume is going to gradually increase from 50% on the fourth bar to 100% on the sixth bar. In the same way, you can use the automation window to enter tempo automation and pan automation. Once these settings have been entered, you can simply click OK. And now, if you play your score, these new automations are going to be taken into consideration while playing the track. And that's how you can use automations to create a dynamic mix in Guitar Pro 6.